hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is Pinta and i share cooking videos here in today's video i'm gonna share with you guys how to make steam fish steam fish is a gambian recipe so these are all the ingredients i'm gonna use i have my mint fish this i'm done i'm using salmon i get this from the store woolies if you live in australia woolies i get it there and it's very good make life so easy you know so I'm gonna dice the onions and the pepper, the lean bell pepper. I'm using the half, I'm gonna save the half for later. Then I'm gonna add dice the chili and garlic and the parsley, a little bit of parsley and a little bit of coriander. And I'm gonna garlic the garlic, grate the garlic, three garlic grate. Then I will mix the onions and the peppers with the fish together. Then I will add some seasoning. This is the fish. It's very easy, you know. Let me show you guys the packaging so if you can find it maybe where you live. So easy, you know. Otherwise, if you need to make a fish ball, you know, this is a very good fish one. When I saw it, I was so excited. Then I'm gonna add the onions and the peppers. And then I will add the seasonings. Then after I will steam the fish. If you don't have like steaming pot, you know, you can um, fry it. But uh, if you steam the fish, it's a little bit different. The steaming, it's quite nice. Yeah, so. But if you don't have it, you can try it like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna add mustard and then the top. I add a little bit of top and vegetable seasoning and lime juice. Lime pouring all the flavors together. Don't forget that. <laughs> then now I'm gonna mix all those ingredients together. Then now mixing, then going to the steaming pot. all mixed well then i'm going to steam it for 15 minutes now the water is boiling now i'm gonna add the steaming pot steamer <laughs> i'm gonna add the steamer then i will add the fish and i'm just gonna separate them just make them Good. Then I will cover it, we'll put the lid on. Then I will come here and I dice my veggies. I'm gonna saute the onions and the pepper and the carrots. After steaming the fish, then I'm gonna bring, mix all the things together. Stick around with me, you will see. And go. <laughs> Maybe you have your cup of tea. Yeah, I'm gonna dice. All the veggies are done. Then I'm gonna grate some garlic. And now I'm gonna move on to my spaghetti. What's this? Steam fish with some spaghetti. Steam fish. So I'm gonna add some maybe quarter of spaghetti. Not a lot of spaghetti. Just quarter. You can see the amount I'm using. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let that boil. I just add hot water to make it easy. Then let it come to boil. Let the spaghetti cook. While that is happening, I'm gonna move on here and I saute the vegetables. I have a little bit of oil. I have some oil. Then I will add the vegetables, the onions, and the peppers. And I'm gonna saute those for few minutes just let them soft and I'm gonna add some seasoning add some bay leaf <laughs> you need bay leaf and I'm gonna add some tuck and some of little bit of vegetable seasoning and lime juice and mustard. 
the leftover mustard I'm gonna add it all then I'm gonna add lime too then I'm gonna saute it for a few minutes then I'm just going to go and check on the face what's going on let's see we check on the face now it's time to check on it let's go now you can see it's steaming it's already cooked all cooked you can see now i'm just gonna cover it maybe five minutes then i just transfer it mix it with the with the sauteed vegetables then i'm gonna add lime juice and mix it okay. then now i'm gonna now the this is done now i'm just gonna mix all the cheese and the vegetables together it's a lot of cooking it's a, yeah it's very tasty but it's a lot of work so i'm gonna add the, the fish now i'm gonna mix it saute mix it with fish and the big table all the things combine all the flavors to come together <laughs> Then, then now I'm just gonna check on that. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, a lot of leftover seasoning. Make sure you taste it. Out. You need to balance it. So now the spaghetti is done. You can, if you want, before you cook, you can break the spaghetti, make it tiny. I'm going to mix it with spaghetti with some water. Then now I'm just gonna add the spaghetti, not all, just a little bit. Yeah, that amount is good. Then I'm gonna mix it, get it coated with the face and the color. It's just like spaghetti bolognese, it, but it's a little bit different. <laughs> it's not a different flavor. Then I'm gonna mix it together, mix it very well. Let it cook around 10, now maybe 7 minutes. Very low heat and voila, it's done. You can see the spaghetti almost broke down. And if you put this on bread, it's super delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Done now. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go and plate it. I have the bowl. I'm just gonna put it there. Yeah, and I have my bread here. This is all. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Um, I will see you guys soon in my next cooking video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.